live stream here and at the same time I'm going to be smoking a tobacco that I ain't never had before and this is the tobacco that Mark sent me and I wanted to combine a mom and me video with this but things don't always go the way I want them to go well anyways um here it is Leonardo and it is seven Nelly 1876 I couldn't quite see it on the screen I couldn't remember it anyways I'm gonna be trying this new tobacco out in the new pipe that he sent me already got it loaded and everything and um, I ain't never had this tobacco before and uh, I'm kind of excited about how it's gonna taste and everything and I'm so excited. And once again, I like to say thank you, Mark. You're awesome. And also, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to cheat a little bit on something, but I'm also going to share something with you. Oh, um, at the local tobacco shop where I get my stuff at, I buy these brand matches sometimes when I can afford them. They sell them for two dollars and fifty cents. And I don't know if any of you ever use these matches before but they're long stem matches and the thing I like about them is is even after the match tip is burnt off and everything you can still reuse the wooden part light it with a lighter and it will still ignite and you can still light your pipe with it and this being a new pipe and me not wanting to char the edge of it or anything I'm going to use these and also matches from now on when lighting this pipe because Unlike my cob and unlike my hardwood, this not only was this pipe a gift, and I'm really grateful for this gift, but at the same time, um, I just want to keep it looking good as long as possible and as much as I possibly can. And in the rush of everything, I forgot to grab my tamper and trying to prep everything. So, I'll let you have a lovely view of a microwave and a refrigerator, and I will be right back as quick as I possibly can. Just give me a minute. Well, folks, I hope that wasn't that long. I'm also going to use the pipe tamper that Mark sent me. You know, once again, I just like to show everybody, you know, the grain in this wood. I think it's beautiful. He hand makes these by himself. And they're just a wonderful, beautiful pipe tool. A beautiful work of art. And I don't think you can get or ask for much better than this fine craftsmanship that this man does. And it's like one of the coolest, stylish looking ideas ever. And I just love it. Because, you know, like this, you know, it kind of reminds me of an eagle's claw or something, you know, or a bear claw. Looks real cool. And then this little piece right here, I have found that, that you know, if you thought about it or ever wanted to, you could tie a little string around that if you wanted to. Or you want to be real fancy, get a little chain and latch it around there. And you could carry it on you, you know, like a necklace, you know, kind of like a a, ne uh, uh, a neck knife or something like that. Also, it could be your handy dandy pipe tool. And tamper part, as which you can tell, I kind of already sort of used it. But um, it works great. And I love it. Anyways, first off, I'll show you what the tobacco looks like. And it already has a great smell. I actually let my mom smell it to see what she thought about it. You know, and she said it smells really great. Hopefully I can do this right. Right, there's what the tobacco looks like. Looks like a typical tobacco cut. Now, mind you, I ain't too fancy with doing all this fancy stuff like this. But, you know, it looks like you see a little Virginia's. And I don't, I don't know if there's Burley in there or not. But I do see there's Cavendish in there. And I love Cavendish. And now, uh, let's see what kind of root 
10 notes I can pick up here. I like to say this uh, tobacco almost smells like and almost puts me in the mind of a nut of a German tobacco that I love and I don't even know if I pronounce it right but I think it's called Vigna or Vigna um, I'm not sure it starts with a V I know all you experienced guys out there know what I'm talking about but it's called Nutty Cup Blend and it has a sweet smell to it like almost like a molasses like smell and it smells really great and uh, and also too there's some big cut leaves in it like this and a few little bit of some uh, ribbon cut like that as well as Cavendish and what looks like could have been cake you know crumbled up in there but anyways it has a beautiful tin note I think it's a wonderful, wonderful aromatic. And I'm hoping the room note is just as good. I wish I would have had the money before I took my trip down here. I wish I would have had the money to have got me some softy bits because uh, my teeth being messed up and everything I, I do not want to grind down that beautiful stem right there it's a beautiful bit and everything and it's a filtered pipe and I'm only smoked maybe a filtered pipe once and I couldn't stand the filter so I took it out but with this particular pipe, I'm going to leave everything as is, smoke it as is, just because it was a gift given to me. And alrighty. And you see, this is what the matches are. They're long and everything, and I, I just love them. And they light up good. Let's see, here it is, the first smoke out of this bowl. Sometimes I can actually get a pretty good light on account of, uh, you know, not have to worry about a, a char light or a false light. Sometimes. It smokes great. It's a good smoking pipe and it's a good gentleman's pipe, you know, it fits in the palm of your hand. Alright, going to tamper down a little bit. It's a very smooth, mild smoke. Very, uh, now well, quite like what I was expecting, but actually better. Ah, there it is. Now I got a relight. I'm going to show you what I mean by this. And you see, I think they got an oil, like a goose oil or something, in the wood here. 
and I think that's what helps keep it relighting. But I can use this same stick about four or five times before I actually got to get rid of it. So it is a good match. It really is. I recommend them if you uh, got anything close or wherever you're at like it. It's good. I think the only thing I'm getting from it is it's a very it's a very light aromatic. I taste a few natural tastes in it. I think I taste just a tiny, tiny hint of the Virginia that's in it. And uh, the room note, I think it had, it smells pretty decent. Don't smell like a cigarette, thank the Lord. <laughs> It is a good smoke. Great pipe. Smokes great. Thank you, Mark. This is a great smoking pipe, Mark. Uh, this is the nicest pipe I got in my collection. I tell you what, being the Christmas season and all and everything coming up like that, you know, I'm real thankful to have been down here at Mom's for Christmas. I'm very thankful for, for that. And also, too, Mom gets in the baking mood and the cooking mood, and uh, I really like that. And, uh, Mom just got done making breakfast just a little bit ago. I'm a drinking some coffee out of the greatest mug in the world, guys. <laughs> Even drinking some good flavored coffee, too. Drinking some cinnamon flavored coffee, and I added just a little bit of my own touch to it. I added just a tiny little bit of hot cocoa to the mix, as which makes it superb. <laughs> so, a lot of people make New Year's resolutions, you know, and everything for New Year's. I have just a few small ones, a few small little goals. One is, is to be a little bit better at money management and the other one is um, I like to be able to uh, make my channel a little bit more better improve it a little bit because um, I really would like to do that make things look a little bit more professional I see how some people got their channels and I just absolutely love the way they got it and I see my mics fell completely down <laughs> I hope that's better and um, also, I'd like to be able to get me a few leopard geckos. I, li I like leopard geckos, and i like to be able to afford to take care of them properly the way they need to be properly taken care of. And I think that I think they're just an awesome, awesome animal. It's kind of like a, they're kind of like a mini dog in in reptile form. Boy, Mark, I really, I really am enjoying this pipe. I really like it. I also like the fact that it's a, a sitter too. Uh, 
Oh, I'm wearing my Christmas hat. I like it. <laughs> and, uh, it kind of got banned from work. That's why I was wearing the other hat. But, I really originally love this hat. <laughs> Mostly because my friend Angela gave it to me. And also, if nobody uh, checked out her channel yet, um, her channel is called Angelus, and she has a lot of cool stuff on her and random stuff. And she also speaks a, a little bit about, you know, shares shares a little bit of wisdom with you every now and then. And uh, and everything, uh, she even gives a little marriage advice too on there sometimes because. Um, she, her and her husband are a young couple, but they've been married for a while, and, and, um, she just shares some cool advice about that, you know, so if you're like a young couple or something, just got married or whatever, or just looking for them advice to make things work, you know, she, she has stuff like that on there, too. Well... This is a good smoke. I really like it. I, I'm really thankful that uh, you gave this to me, Mark. I, I wasn't expecting nothing like this, you know. It really, it really, you know, that box really came in a time when I was really kind of feeling kind of down about some stuff believe it or not you know and it just kind of helped give me the I guess the extra boost I needed you know to be in good cheer and everything and you know that's one thing I love about the YTPC you know everybody's always out to help everybody or give everybody helpful suggestions and everything and nobody's really mean you know and I'm glad about that and I thank the Lord nobody ain't giving me no crap about my spelling. I know I can't spell that real sometimes. And uh, I know sometimes my reading comprehension is horrible some days. It's not as bad as it used to be, especially when I was younger. But some days it, it's a struggle sometimes, but not it, it's not that bad. Well, I went out, I got a real light. See, I still got that much left to use. Just off that one match. There for like a split second, I thought I was kind of picking up just a tiny little bit of like a raisiny flavor. But like really went away really quick. I really love this tobacco though. This is a fine tobacco. Better than what I imagined it was going to be really. A wonderful, beautiful aromatic. And even on the retro hail, very light, good.
trying to see if I can pick up any flavors. Now, I experienced it, stuff like this, like most of you well-seasoned uh, fellow pipers out there are. But I'm learning as I go, and that's one thing I love about this is not only is things a community and everything, but, you know, you learn as you go, and you got people out there in the YTPC that help you along the way or inspire you to do something. You know, around this time of year, too, I kind of can't help but to think about also uh, smoking pipe board gamer and uh, or pipe smoking board gamer. Oh, I need to write this stuff down, to be honest with you, um, about him and and how he's doing with the job stuff and situation there and. I hope I hope him and his family is going to have a good Christmas this year, and and everything and and uh, that guy I'm a little behind in that man's videos too, but I like watching him. He's pretty cool, and I think we're kind of mutual fans of each other's channel. Of course, I tell you what though, everybody that has subscribed to me, I have subscribed to you. And I feel that's a way to help the community go around, you know. That's always supporting each other. Of course, in some ways, I'm not one to go out to outreach too many people and everything. But, you know, sometimes people catch my eye, you know, and I, and I just have to hit subscribe anyways, you know. Uh, I tell you what, um, I don't know if anybody likes big old coffee mugs, but the size of this coffee mug here is like two cups and a half combined together or a third. Two cups and a third, one, one of the two. You need through them all. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyways, um, I got that there at, um... Spencer's Gifts uh, in the mall. I don't know if anybody's familiar with Spencer's Gifts or not, but they got a few odd and end stuff. Well, folks, one thing I really am not good at is sometimes keeping this thing lit. But this tamper, it does wonderful. It is a wonderful tamper. And also the ash of this tobacco, you can see it burns white ash. Pretty good cleaning burn. And that's pretty sweet. I like that. I don't know why I like it, but I like it. It means it smokes good, I think. Well, everybody, I'm going to sign off now. And i just like to say, Mark, thank you very much. Once again, thank you. And wherever you're at in this world, I hope you're blessed. And as soon as I can get some stuff done, I am going to send you an awesome painting, buddy. Because um, I've, been ins I've been given a lot of inspiration. I just don't know where I'm going to start at. And a lot of people might find this kind of crazy. But... Um, but uh, sometimes before I do a painting, a lot of people sketch out something on canvas and stuff. I don't like doing that. I like letting the entire artist idea in me flow out freely. And if I need to change something, I'll change it on the canvas itself. But sometimes I'll take a scrap piece of paper, just like writing a book, you know, I'll, you know, I take a whole collective of ideas and I'll write them down. I might even put down where I'm going to put something on this piece of paper. And if I get lost in, in what my thoughts are and everything, well then I can just go back and decide what it was my game plan was I had put in this painting. Now sometimes when you paint, um, and this is just my, my opinions. Now I'm not an experienced seasoned painter neither. But um, 
when I paint, sometimes the way I want something to go don't always go the way I want it to go. So I'll step a few steps back from the painting, look at the entire picture, and I'll let the painting reveal to me what it wants to be. Now, a lot of people might say that might be crazy, but it works. It works for my stuff. If you uh, go back and review any of my channels, not channels, blah, any of my videos that have my paintings in them, and if you look and you should look at them real carefully, you'll see, you, you probably see maybe half a dozen mistakes if you really pay attention to it. But also when you look at the whole painting itself in a whole, you'll see where it worked out just fine and that it's beautiful. Well, anyways, I'd like to say thank you all for hitting like, share, and subscribe. And also, wherever you're at in this world, may you be blessed. And I thank you. Until next time.